exciting. And I know one other person that is going to be more excited than me as far as our winning this evening, and that is Mandy Rumbles, who is our human resource generalist and our wellness program coordinator. She regrettably could not be here this evening, but through the power of social media and through our cell phones, we've already let her know that her contributions have earned us gold and a top prize category. So a big congratulations to all of Frederick County Bank and especially to Mandy. On behalf of all of our employees, and especially a very proud HR team, it is a pleasure to accept our award and to share some of our insights with you. It's also an honor to be among so many local organizations that promote and recognize the importance of a healthy workplace. Thank all of you for doing what you do to help be part of a bigger initiative, and that is to build a stronger Frederick community, a more balanced community in terms of body, mind, and spirit. So how about Frederick County Bank's wellness initiatives and well-being programs? In 2014, we unveiled a fabulous and trendy new wellness room painted in a very tranquil and calming turquoise blue and featuring a reclining massage chair. You wouldn't believe how many employees will help you put together a massage chair when that arrives. We have a sounding soothing or a soothing sound machine, yoga mat, yoga ball, and even a blood pressure machine for those employees that would like to come up and kind of get that pulse on things. Our nursing moms and all of our employees have found this to be a very welcoming and inviting environment. We've also been able to use this room when we've offered our employees seated massages. Also a lot of oohs and ahs from our employee base when that happens, as many of you that offer the similar programs know. And our employees, like Cassandra who's with us this evening, also found that room of great use in October when we did a Planktober contest where starting the 1st of October, employees did planks for 30 seconds, and then each day thereafter added an additional five seconds throughout that month of October. Let me tell you, we had some of the best abs in downtown <laughs> Frederick when I've seen. In 2014, we also sponsored numerous 5Ks, one song workouts, a 30-day wall sit challenge, and two Fitbit walks. We've walked virtually to Mount Rushmore, and we bundled up and virtually trekked to the North Pole, Alaska. North Pole, Alaska. And for all of you fitness aficionados and well-being experts out there, what do our health experts tell us that we should walk, the number of steps a day that we should walk in order to be healthy? 10,000. 10,000. Exactly. Well, we are the proud home of some very overachievers when it comes to the number of steps to put in, and I really contribute that to these Fitbit challenges, where many of our employees exceeded the 10, 12, 15, 18, and championed by our very own president and CEO, Marty LaPera, 20 plus thousand steps a day. So it, it does do the job. 2014 was also a year of great learning for us. We learned that wellness is not a trend, it's part of a very balanced human resources program. We learned that our wellness initiatives need to connect to our employee demographic base, and we learned that what may work for another employer may not work for us. We realized that wellness was not just a poster that you hang on a wall or an email that you send out to employees. So in December, we offered our biometric screenings to our employees and to their dependents, and our results were so incredibly helpful in building what we believe is a fantastic 2015 wellness program. Not only did we use the measurable results to anchor our wellness initiatives, but we also used employee feedback. We know based on participation rates and friendly water cooler chatter, and those of us in HR, we generally don't like water cooler chatter, but this is something that we encourage because it did give us that meaningful feedback. Our Fitbit walks and our holistic approach to health and wellness was very well received. We leveraged this information as we framed the 2015 campaign around the seven dimensions of wellness. Social, spiritual, emotional, environmental, intellectual, occupational, and physical. Based on the responses so far, we are extremely optimistic that we are making informed, dynamic, and sought after choices. Not only are employees like Jody Yee stepping up to lead our wellness initiatives, but their family members have also asked to participate in our fund campaigns. 
We very much look forward to the meaningful partnerships that we've developed with local athletic trainers, organizations like Holistic Health Associates, Thorpewood, Corporate OHS, and Maryland School for the Deaf. We are very grateful for this recognition and the ability to offer these programs to our employees. We could not do so without the support of our senior management and especially our president, Marty LaPera. Thank you to the Frederick County Health Department, to the Chamber, and to Frederick <coughs> Regional Health Services System. And again, thanks to all of you for being part of this great group that leads Frederick County in building and designing a brighter well-being for all of our employees, building on mind, body, and spirit. Thank you.